Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. This week I want to talk to you about completion. It's something that I tend to do towards the end of every year, purely because it's a really poignant time to be looking at new beginnings and letting go of old things that have happened through the year. But I wanted to share something about completion with you and how to do it on your own, because it's a very important thing. So there's a term that quite often gets used in personal development called the monkey mind. And it's the thoughts that go round and round and round in our heads. And for me, it's actually a product of the ego. It's a product of the personality, the identity that we have with ourselves. And it's a way for the subconscious mind to try and get us to do what it thinks we need to do to survive in this world. Maybe next week or in a couple of weeks time, I'll go into a little bit more detail about it. But just for now, know that those thoughts, that chatter, that background noise that constantly keeps going is the monkey mind. So it's been coined. And completion, when you are completely complete, then that part of the mind is still and quiet and you are at peace and content. And we all have this natural state of bliss, this natural state of happiness. Um, it's the state we're at when everything in the world is at peace, when we don't have anything that is outstanding, that needs our attention, that needs to be addressed, that we think we need to do to survive. And it's funny because we chase that state that we we try to get there when actually in real reality that state is always within us it's not a point of actually getting there it's a state that is constantly there that actually when we've resolved all the things in our life that we feel are going wrong or need that need us to take action to survive that we actually naturally fall into so there's no striving to get there there's actually a relaxing and a letting go and getting into and one of the things that you can do to help you let go and to settle into this natural state of bliss and happiness is to complete the things that are outstanding in your life. And completion is quite simple, really. It's to start to notice the things that you're thinking about and worrying about. Those are the things that are incomplete. Those are the things that your subconscious feels you need to address to be able to survive in this world. And the completion process is actually incredibly simple. It's a three step process. The first step is to acknowledge. So that's acknowledging the thoughts in your head, acknowledging the things that are incomplete in your life. I like to do it at the end of the year because I can kind of look back on the whole year and sort of look at the things, the, the patterns that have cropped up, the major events that maybe I haven't completely um, handled as I'd like to, or I haven't completely processed. Also the lessons that I might have learned from unpleasant situations or, or positive ones. So although the positive ones don't tend to be incomplete, it's more the negative ones that tend to be the uncomfortable ones, should I say, that are incomplete. So I tend to do it once a year properly, although I try to do it as I go through, because it gives me that sort of break to look back and to really analyse what the, the, year bef the past year has held for me. So one is to acknowledge. Go back, notice the thoughts in your head, notice what's coming up for you. It could be accounting that you haven't done, it could be filing, it could be fixing something around the house or the car or the garden that hasn't been done. It could be an argument or a conversation that you have that's still niggling at you. It could be something that you've wanted to do, like studying something or learning something that you haven't given time to, or fitness or health that you've been neglecting. Any of those things that constantly sort of come up in your thoughts, those are incompletions. So acknowledge those thoughts and also then look back over your year and look at any of the major events that the year has held for you that you don't feel you've processed fully. Things that you don't feel at peace with inside of yourself. Um, and then the next part is, so that's the first part to acknowledge. The second part is to make a decision. Make decisions on all of those things that you've found that are niggling at you, um, things that you haven't completely addressed throughout the year. And the decision could be many things. It could be to have a conversation with somebody. It could be to, um, to start doing something that actually means that you move forward with say some of the things that you wanted to learn. Um, it could be that you fix some of the things that need fixing, do the accounting that needs doing. All of those kind of things are decisions you can make and give yourself a timeline. Um, it might not be something that you do tomorrow or this week, but it might be something you want to get done this month. You might also have incompletions around relationships or things that you can't make a decision about immediately. Um, and that's absolutely fine. 
Find a time frame that works for you. Could be a month, a few weeks, could be a few months, six months, and make a decision to make a decision at that point. And then also make a decision about what action you're going to take between now and then to help you make the best decision that you can make. So that's the next step. So first acknowledge, then decide. And the final step is to let go. Because once you've completed your incompletion, it is no longer there. If you think back to um, something that was niggling at you that needed fixing a year ago and you fixed it, you won't be worrying about it anymore. It's just gone. It's complete in your mind. It's complete in your awareness. It is no longer a thing and it is complete. And when something is complete, it disappears. It no longer becomes anything. Um, sometimes, though, the choice is not to let your mind wander and fester on things. And that is what we call letting go. And when you, when you make that decision to let something go, all you do is that whenever you find your mind wandering onto something and worrying about something, you choose to focus it somewhere else. Choose to focus it on something positive, something creative, something that you're looking forward to, something that you want to achieve and want to do. Because your subconscious, you, you can direct it. You can't stop the thoughts from forming, but you can focus where you would rather be focusing. And in that process, you let go of something that is causing you uneasiness within yourself. I'd like to wish you all the best for 2022. I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you'd like to find out about coaching with me or about any of my online courses, as usual, the notes are in my show notes below. Um, and I'd like to wish you a fabulous week. I'll see you again next week. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.